The other day I had a call from HH Electronics asking me if I would like to try out some new speakers that they have that are designed for DJs. Hello fellow DJs from around the globe, I'm JP and this is my YouTube channel Real Life DJ where I try and produce useful, interesting, informative and above all free videos for DJs covering basically everything DJ related from equipment and training through to your very own questions. In this video I'm looking at the DJ speakers from HH Electronics, in particular these TRE1201 which are 12 inch active speakers. <laughs> For the younger DJs out there, HH Electronics is a UK based organisation that has been around for donkey's years, selling all types of speakers and amplifiers. You find specialist speaker brands like HH Electronics have reseller networks that are long established independent DJ equipment retailers. The ones who in these times need your support, so instead of buying from the likes of Amazon and other international organisations, think about a specialist DJ organization who has all the knowledge and honest recommendations waiting for you. What we have here is an HH Electronics TRE1201 DJ speaker which is predominantly designed to be used by pro mobile DJs. The TRE1201 speakers are quoted as having a 1400 watt peak and a 700 watt continuous output. Frequency response is between 45 and 18 kHz and produces around 130 dB. The speaker has two drivers, that's the speakers inside, a low frequency 12 and a high frequency 1.33 inch. The suggested selling price by the manufacturers of the TRE1201 uh, is £255 including VAT each. Before we go any further, can I ask you to hit that like button now, share to your social media of choice, and if you've not done so already, smash that subscribe button. These things help small channels like mine, and it's really appreciated. Thank you in advance. Let's spin these down and have a little bit of a closer look. On the front here, it is a nice uh, normal mesh mat um, effect. You've got uh, a couple of stickers. Don't forget to take them off. I know you're really proud of buying your speakers, but don't leave them on. It looks silly when you're DJing. Anyway, on these speakers, each side is easy to grab, grab handles, which makes them fabulously easy to uh, lift. They're not too heavy. On the bottom, you can see that you have here a little hole where you can put straight onto your tripod mount. And at the back here, is a little screw thing that allows you to tighten it up should you wish. There's also four rubber feet if you do mount them on the ground. If I flip it over, so you can see on, the, on this side, you'll see there's another grab handle there which is great because the amount of times you, you, know, you want to just lift it up and you can do because they're not too heavy these. Um, also additionally under here you've got a fly point mount um, so you could take that off and you could put a, uh, a light on there. Let's just pop it back onto the stand. There we go. You can, you can attach that to hang it from truss or you, as I was saying, you can stick a, uh, a light on there. Uh, personally, I do put the, uh, um, the FX washes by Chauvet on top of mine. Um, and wash the ceiling out in the room because uh, it's a great way of doing that without leaving par cans everywhere and it gives a good effect. Um, there's also a couple of uh, mounting points on the side there and there next to the handles. So uh, take that off, I'll show you, that cup pops out and it's just a probably a 10 mil um, screw goes in there which is simple enough. Then when you finish you can pop that back in. Inputs on the TRE1201 are pretty comprehensive for the uh, um, type of speaker it is. You've got, your, you've got two inputs and you've got a main output. 
Okay, on the inputs, you do have a gain control on both of them. Okay, also on the inputs, there's a choice on the two ports there. You can plug in your standard XLR into them, which uh, just clips in like so. Alternatively, you can use the large phonos. So depending on the cables you've got, you might not have to buy new cables if you're upgrading from being a DJ at home to commercial DJ for the first time, because you might already have those cables. So the great thing about this is that it has both of those ports. Next up, you've got an XLR out. That's if you want to go out to, uh, um, you might want to go out to a sub or something else. Over here, you've got the uh, modes. There are four modes, depending on uh, what you're going to be using it at the time. You've got music, live, monitor, and uh, vocal. So if you're working with a, uh, somebody singing some live stuff, then you might want to uh, pop it onto vocal while they're doing their bit. Um, next up, you've got your logo light on and off. So you've got a power down here, on and off, and your power input on the bottom corner. In summary, I like the TRE-1201 speakers so far. I've had a bit of a mess around with them. Hopefully I'll get a chance to use them at a gig sometime soon. I feel that will obviously be the true test when people are dancing in front of them. When and if this happens, I'll sure to do a gig log for you and cover them in there and give you my true thoughts, maybe ask a few people who are there. Because I'm wanting to keep my videos a manageable size, ideally under 10 minutes each, I'm going to produce a separate video that shows the sound and output of the TRE 1201 in a test simulation that can easily be replicated. Following that video, I'll be showing the TRS 1500, which is the sub that goes with these speakers. Hopefully all the videos about the TRE 1201 will be of interest and you'll feel worthwhile watching. Now let me know what your thoughts are on speakers like this. Are you in the market to buy any? Do you have any questions? Feel free to stick them in the comments. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video, it's really appreciated. Don't forget to press that like now if you've not done so already. And on a very serious note, if you've not subscribed to this channel yet, then now is the time to do that. And don't forget to turn on that bell so you get notified when my next video goes live. Until next time, thanks for watching. JP out.